Let me tell you, kiddies, we are looking good. Looking good. What canary did you swallow? Well, after having felt just a teensy, weensy little bit of guilt over having wrongfully inspired this establishment, I took it upon myself to expose the Potter B&B to the outside world via the mighty pen of Mr. Frederick Fricky. Fred who? Fricky. He's, uh, I don't know, he's like the, the Roger Ebert of the B&B world. He writes for travel, travel and leisure, and most importantly, he writes for the New York Times travel section, the next edition of which will have nothing but glowing things to say about this establishment because one Mr. Fred Fricky is frequenting here. He's coming here? Oh, yeah. He's on his way back to Boston right now. Just happened to fit right into his plans. I gave him a call. Are you insane? Have you seen the half-finished room? Have you tasted Bessie's blueberry pancakes? We're not ready for something like this, not to mention that we don't have any guests. I beg to differ. We do have guests. Not only do we have guests, we have the perfect guests for the perfect heartwarming weekend at your local B&B. Guests, if you would please. We have the sweet, God-fearing grandmother here to help her grandkids try to reconnect to the magical Creekside Village where she frolicked as a little girl. I'll need an 8 a.m. wake-up call. Yeah. And I take my OJ freshly squeezed. Black coffee for me. And God help you if you wake me before noon. And just to make sure that our home is filled with happy, boisterous people, we have a loving married couple here to spend a romantic weekend getaway. One minor detail, Pacey. Don't you think you could have asked me first? <laughs> you never left my parents out of it? It was reckless. And insensitive. OK, one at a time, shall we? Starting with you. I only asked Mitch to help, OK? It was his idea to bring Dale along. His idea? Yes, his idea. So if you want to tear somebody's head off, why don't you try the guy that sired you? And as for you, how can you possibly be so ungrateful after just having witnessed an outpouring of love and support that would have made George Bailey proud? Look, there is nothing wonderful about my life right now, OK? So I don't care how you do it, but you get Mr. Fricky on the phone, and you tell him that there is no room at the inn. Why? Because. You don't show a movie reviewer a rough cut, and you don't serve a food critic your first stab at a new recipe, especially if that recipe is your last chance of keeping a roof over your head. What? What do you mean, last chance? Bessie is thinking about taking out a mortgage. A more? You can't let her risk the house. Dawson, does the term legal guardian mean anything to you? Um, I'm sorry, Joe. I'll make this right right now, OK? Don't tell me. The Fuller Brush Man? Hardly. Fred Fricky, bed and breakfast quarterly? Is now a bad time? No, not at all. Mr. Fricky, I'm really sorry this has been such a horrendous experience. I, uh, I realize it's no five star BB, but I'm pretty sure my mother would have loved it. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Fricky. Good morning. You know, I know we still have a few kinks to work out, uh, but we'll probably never have the fine linens and gourmet food that you're used to. The heat didn't work last night, but this is one of the warmest places I've ever stayed. And these pancakes, Maybe the best in the county. <laughs> All right. <laughs> mm. What am I missing? Why, whatever do you mean? Well, for one thing, your pancakes are nowhere near this good, Bessie. <laughs> well, then perhaps we should pay our compliments to the chef, huh? What do you say? <laughs> chef! 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 Now, who here wants seconds? Wait. <laughs> what are you doing here? What do you mean? I wouldn't miss this for the world. <laughs> I, was, I was up for hours last night, thinking about what you said by the fire. And I went up to the attic. Look, Bessie. Dad gave this to Mom for Christmas 10 years ago. We signed it over breakfast. Her first guest. How could I have forgotten her dream? You've had a few other things to worry about, Bessie. Like the lives of two kids. Bud. To the Potter B&B, may it live long and prosper. Indeed. Yeah. 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 